Hey, what's up guys? I feel like coming at you with a new kind of comic book video. We're doing a little bit of a my thoughts so far on uh, on a series or a run. So for this I want to talk about uh, the current Nightwing run which is started in issue 50 which sees us a brand new introduction of a character where Dick has transitioned from being Dick Grayson and Nightwing to a new character called Rick Grayson. So I also want to mention that we will be covering spoiler territory in these books. So if you haven't read any of the following books, Nightwing issues 50 through 53, Titans number 30, Batgirl number 25, Batman Beyond 26, or Batman 55, I do urge you to stop watching the video if you don't want them spoiled because we will be talking about those books, some in more detail than others, but we will be talking about those particular books. Now that that's out of the way, let's start off with Batman 55. So as you know, Batman 55, if you've read it or if you've heard about it, is the issue where Nightwing, out on, when he's out on the mission with Batman, does get shot in the head by an assassin, by an unknown assassin, and that's obviously something the current Batman book is going to be taking a look at. Now, this has a massive, you know, uh, impact on the DC Universe as a whole. It's not just the Batman family that gets, you know, uh, affected by this, or Nightwing's, well, obviously Nightwing's book is heavily affected by this, but we can also see the impact has gone into Titans as well, as the latest issue of Titans does have Donna, who's now the pseudo de facto leader, given that Dick is doesn't really want to be Nightwing anymore. Um, we get to see this amazing cover of all you know the members of the original Titans who are starting to get eliminated. When I say original Titans, I mean original Titans in the Rebirth universe, as opposed to you know the original New Teen Titans, which obviously is a very different team. As of course Wally and Roy were both killed in Heroes in Crisis. I don't know why they would bring. Wally back just to kill him again, but you know, uh, it's nice that, you know, you can see that his impact is felt throughout, you know, the universe, and I'm sure other characters' books um, do uh, referencing this as well, but this is basically just what I've been reading that's referencing it. We see that his book, of course, in uh, Nightwing 50, which does full on jump us straight into it, you know, it's almost, it's not like. You know, it's kind of like he's gotten out of the parallel, you know, he's, after he's been shot. You know, it jumps straight to, you know, um, the different time, you know. Obviously, time has passed from when he's been shot to who he is now. We get to see that he was like this, and when he wakes up, he can't remember. Obviously, he's going to, like, remember more things along the way. But we see a very different Dick Grayson. He now goes by the name of Rick Grayson. I don't know why. they. Maybe they just wanted to update the name or something, but, you know, the, you know, the dick jokes over the years. Um, considering, you know, that he and Barbara both have very old-fashioned names. But, you know, we see a much angrier, a much more aggressive Dick Grayson who's sh shaved his hair. He's dressing in more, you know, casual street clothes as opposed to how he used to dress. We get some nice flashbacks to Scarecrow, which suggests, obviously, that Scarecrow is going to play a massive part in this arc, potentially even likely to scare his memories back some way. Um, but we also get to see Barbara is... Suggest, they're suggesting that Barbara's potentially going to have an impact in this storyline as well, as we did see her show up in The Bleeding Edge, which is one of the last Nightwing stories before the huge change. We see that, uh, you know, she's come to Dick to try and help him remember who he is, and she also, you know, says later on that she needs him, which is something that I, you know, really like. And they hinted at this quite a, quite a bit in the back story in Batgirl 25, one of the stories where she talks, where they talk about, you know, reconciling and how she's like, oh, Dick Grayson always comes when I call him. You know, because the two characters have had an on and off again relationship for pretty much 20, 20 years or so now. They started it, you know, they had the very flirtatious relationship back in the 60s and very heavily flirtatious in the Batman family stories. But uh, they never really became an official item until obviously the Nightwing books. But you can tell that they were teasing it very early on, more so in Barbara's book than Dick's book. But it was still there, and you could see it, particularly in uh, Summer of Lies, one of my favorite Batgirl stories. Uh, you guys should definitely go check it out if you haven't. It's Batgirl's issue, Batgirl issues 14 through 17, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. Definitely worth checking out. But it's going to be cool to see, will Barbara play a part in Dick remem you know, remembering who he is? If you have any other con ideas about that, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Now, in terms of how long will this memory lapse or this memory loss actually occur, you know, actually stay canon, or how long will he stay as Rick Grayson? Because eventually we know that uh, he will become Dick Grayson again, because in the last, in Batman Beyond issue 26, you know, where they've recently introduced, reintroduced Dick as the mayor of Bloodhaven, 
He's referred to as Dick Grayson, and he remembers that he was Nightwing, he remembers that he used to spend time with Bruce, and they also talk about in this particular issue where he talks about how he was shot in the head. And so it suggests, of course, that eventually he will become Nightwing again, which is obvious, but they never talk about how he actually does go about that. And it's also going to be interesting to think about how long he's going to stay as the Rick Grayson character in terms of how many story arcs, because we know Batman Beyond is roughly 30 years after the current events of the main universe, so obviously the current events of what's happening modern day in, like, Batman, Batgirl, and stuff like that. But 30 years in comics translates to however long it takes in real life, right? So 30 years in comics is rough, can, you know, roughly be, like, you know, 50 years worth of comics. I mean, Dick and Barbara haven't really aged in the last 30 years or 20 or 30 years or something like that, so... You know, they even, they even kind of made Barbara younger, if you know what I mean, so... It's going to be interesting to see what goes forward, but I'm curious about what you guys think. Do you think that the Scarecrow will have some impact? You know, all these flashbacks to Scarecrow will have some massive impact that will help him remember who he is. Do you think Barbara will play a massive impact in it as well? Feel free to let me know in your, your thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys like this particular type of video, why not give it a like and give me a subscribe and let me know if you want to see more videos about my thoughts like this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you for my next video.